a legal problem called employees earning more than their managers. So on the left, you can see here we have a table called employee, right? And then you can see the employee table, we have four columns. Uh, we have ID, which is the primary key column for this table. Uh, we also have name, salary, manager ID, right? So the question for this problem is that we want to write a SQL query to find the employees who are more than their managers. Um, return this, the result table in any order, right? We don't have to sort the table in any order. Uh, we want, so the query result format is the following example, right? Or sorry, the, yeah, so you can see here we have an example called, you know, employee table, right? This is our employee table. Um, the elbow is gonna be just Joe. Uh, the reason why, because you can see here, we have Joe has a ID of one, and the manager's ID is three, and the salary is this amount right here. So manager ID three, which is Sam, right? And uh, you can see that Sam has a salary of this amount, which is clearly less than how much uh, salary Joe has, right? So therefore, we're going to return Joe. But if we look at other people like Henry, Right, Henry has a manager ID of four, which is Max, and Max has a salary of this amount, which is clearly greater than the salary of Henry's. So therefore, you can see that Joe is the only employee who earns more than his manager. So therefore, um, let's take a look at you know how we can be able to solve this problem, right? So to solve this problem, my thought process was, you know, we first need to access each employee's salary, right? And and we do have that. If we look at our table, right, we can be able to access, you know, each row's or each person's salary. And we also had to compare that, uh, you know, that person's uh, manager's salary, right? That, that employee's manager's salary with the current user's salary, right? Or the current employee's salary. So how can we be able to do that? How can we be able to access the employee's, uh, you know, employee's manager's salary? Right, and then once we figure that out, we also had to compare, you know, the salary, and then we also had to select, you know, only select employees' name. So the most important part is this one right here. How do we, you know, how do we be able to select the employees' managers' data? This right. So one way we can do is we can use a where clause, and basically we can just uh, have or select the same table twice. Right. We basically join the table twice, um, and then. This is what we have. You can see that we have a table, right? We're selecting all from, you know, employee, and also we also are selecting employees again, right? And this is what it looks like. We're basically for each and every single row from table A, right? Which you can see that from each row in table B, it joins with each row in table A, and uh, you can see that from that we have 16 rows of data, right? Initially we have four rows of data, and now we have 16 rows of data. Um, so what we can do now is that we can basically uh, using this data to filter, right? Because you can see here we have, you know, we have uh, the employee, and then what we can do is that we can basically check, okay, this is another employee, right? And uh, we basically say, okay, for the ID, in this case, this employee's manager ID is three. Does this employee has a ID of three? In this case, it's not, right? Because this employee's ID is one. So in that case, what we can do is we can just do a filter. Okay, we want to select rows that table A dot manager ID is equal to B dot ID. Basically, what we want to do is that we want to select rows where we have the employee and we have the employee's manager data. And then what we can do is that we can basically filter our data from there. So you can see that clearly this is the data that we want, right? So for example, Joe has a manager ID three and then on B table, you can see this employee's ID is three, right? And then from that, what we can do is that we can basically compare to see if A dot salary is greater than B dot salary. In this case, B dot salary is this amount and then A dot salary is this amount, so which is greater, right? So in this case, we want to you know, select this row of data, right? And after we do that, you can see this is our SQL, right? SQL statement where we selecting both, uh, in this case, the same table twice and then filtering the data. And then this is what we have narrowed down to. And since we only want the employee's name, then what we can do is we can just say select a dot name as employee, right? So that's one way we can do it. Do is we can use a join clause. So join is most more common and effective way to link tables together. 
and we can use on to specify some conditions, right? Some conditions that we want to join with. So you can see here we can basically say, okay, I want to select, of course, we want to select name, right? From the employee, okay? So as A, and then we also want to join with employee as B, okay? And then we basically specify what we want to join, right? In this case, we have you know a.manager ID equal to b.id, right? We want to make sure that they are equal so that we can be able to join this, join them together. And then we also have a condition where you know a.salary must be greater than b.salary. So that's what we want to do. And then you can see that this is how we can be able to use you know join clause right to solve this.